Morning everyone, welcome to ANZ News. It's Friday the 14th of January and in the end of week news, we're talking gold outlook for 2022 from the World Gold Council. World Gold Council have just released their gold outlook 2022 report. It's a relatively lengthy read, so we're going to bring it to you in two parts. First part today. Today we look at the very topical impact of rising rates in the US. We mentioned yesterday that the three to four rate hikes the Fed is now signalling has been so well signalled that the market has already priced it in. There was another sea of red on Wall Street last night, so maybe it is still digesting a little bit. That said, the WGC point out a very interesting and bullish dynamic about such signalling versus the reality for gold. Sell the rumour, buy the fact is a thing. Anyway, over to the World Gold Council. High rates in 2021 outweighed inflation risks. Gold finished the year approximately 4% lower, closing at US $1,806 per ounce. The gold price rallied into the year end on the heels of the rapidly spreading Omicron variant, likely prompting flight to quality flows, but it was not offset or not enough to offset H1 weakness. Early in 2021, as newly developed vaccines were rolled out, investor optimism likely fueled a reduction in portfolio hedges. This negatively impacted gold's performance and resulted in gold ETF outflows. The rest of the year was a tug of war between competing forces. Uncertainty surrounding new variants, combined with increasing risks of persistently high inflation and a rebound in gold consumer demand, pushed gold forward. Conversely, rising interest rates and a stronger US dollar continued to create headwinds. However, dollar strength led to positive gold returns in some local currency terms, such as the euro and the yen. Our gold return attribution model corroborates this. Rising opportunity costs were one of the most important contributors to gold's negative performance in Q1 and intermittently in H2, while rising risks, especially those linked to elevated inflation, pushed gold higher towards the end of the year. A few charts in this one today, so jump over to ANZ Bullion and you can check those out for a more visual look at this. Gold price performance was mixed across currencies. The gold price and annual return in key currencies is shown here uh, between the US dollar, euro, over in Japan, British pound, Canada, Swiss, and a whole bunch of other ones there too, also including the Aussie dollar. Looking ahead, rising rates pose risks, but the devil will be in the details. As we enter 2022, the US Federal Reserve is signaling a more hawkish stance. Its projections indicate that the Fed expects to hike approximately three times this year at a quicker pace than previously expected, while aiming to reduce the size of its balance sheet. An analysis of previous tightening cycles, however, shows that the Fed has tended not to tighten monetary policy as aggressively as members of the committee had initially expected. This chart that we're going to show next shows uh, the Fed signaling a more hawkish stance, obviously, than the more, uh, more previous tightening cycle than what was delivered. The dot point projection shown in the chart suggests that year ahead Fed expectations have significantly exceeded actual target rates. More importantly though, financial market expectations of future monetary policy actions expressed through bond yields have historically been a key influence on gold price performance. Consequently, gold has historically underperformed in the months leading up to a Fed tightening cycle, only to significantly outperform in the months following the first rate hike. Gold may have been partly aided by the US dollar which exhibited the opposite pattern. Finally, US equities have had their strongest performance ahead of a tightening cycle, but delivered softer returns thereafter. Chart three, we're gonna show you here, gold has typically outperformed following the first rate hike of a Fed tightening cycle. We've got that to look forward to next. Finally, while there's a lot of emphasis on the relationship with US interest rates, gold is a global market, and not all central banks may move as quickly as the Fed. For example, the European Central Bank has stated that it is very unlikely that interest rates will rise in 2022, despite recent record inflation prints. And while the Bank of England increased interest rates in December, its policy community seemed to indicate only modest future rises. The Reserve Bank of India has also signaled it will maintain its accommodative monetary policy stance to revive and sustain economic recovery and mitigate the impact of COVID. And the People's Bank of China cut one of its policy rates by 5 BPS in December, shortly after lowering the required commercial bank's reserve ratio to cushion the econ country's economic slowdown. While diverging monetary policies could result in a stronger dollar, steady or decreasing rates should support regional gold investment demand. This all generally gels with our view, or our view that the Fed may be talking up rate hikes and now even reducing its balance sheet. But the elephant in the room is how the easy money addicted economy can handle 
that when the inflation is largely supply chain driven, while real wages remain negative and an economy fundamentally not strong enough to handle it. On Monday, we'll bring you part two of this World Gold Cancer Report, which speaks to these forces. As I said, nice and long here from World Gold Cancer. Of course, jump over to ainsleybullion.com.au to purchase the physical stuff, gold, silver, and platinum. ainsleywealth.com.au for all things cryptocurrency and goldsilverstandard.com for our own crypto built and backed by real gold and silver. Enjoy your weekend. We'll catch you Monday for more news.